Hello everyone, today video is about 3D printer, the Creality Ender 3 V3 SE, the relatively new printer from Creality. I think the release date was approximately two months ago in August 2023. But before we start, I want to thank Geek Buying for sending me this printer for a test and to do a quick review. If you want to buy this printer, consider using the link in the description, and if you use the coupon code, you will have a discount and you can buy it for 174 euros. Without further ado, let's get into it with the unboxing. In the box, we have the printer nicely packed. This is almost the same packaging like Creality Ender 3, from what I remember, and they do a great job when putting this in the box. On top, we have a zip bag containing the instruction manual and a second bag with some tools. Screws to mount the printer and a some filament to get you started. which we will return to a little later after we take the rest out of the box. There is also a nice display. The power cable and the spool holder. In the middle are the Z and X axis gantry which are already mounted together. Basically, the printer consists of two parts, which makes its installation beginner friendly. And finally, there is the entire bed assembly of the printer. In the zip bag, you will find the installation manual, along with the warranty and some stickers in case you want to customize your printer. The installation manual is quite well done and easy to follow, but we will not use it because the installation is self-explanatory. And we also find some kind of unclogging tool or something similar. However, it is a bit thick for an unclogging tool. Not sure where you could use this tool. In addition, you will find a set of Allen keys, a screwdriver, and a few others to help you maintain the printer and install it. A spare nozzle of 0.4 millimeters, the screws for installing the printer. You also have a USB adapter for SD cards together with the SD card. Not micro SD, which is good in my opinion. You also have a small roll of filament I think it's enough for the test STL file you can find on the SD card. Anyway, I think it's enough to get you started. They also included a pliers to cut filament with it. Okay, enough of that. Let's move on to assembling the printer. Assembling the printer is very easy. You put the Z axis gantry in the alignment holes of the bed assembly. And basically you have six M3 screws to thread on the other side of the base, Mounting the screen is very easy by screwing the support, and then you connect the cable to it and finally attach the screen to the mount. And the only thing left to do is to connect the cables for the motors of the Z and X axes and the extruder.
The leveling of the bed is done automatically with the help of the CR touch sensor and strain sensor for auto Z offset. After you have opted for self-leveling, you have to wait until it finishes. This could take some time because the printer first heats up the nozzle, after which he cleans it and then sets the Z offset. After creating a mesh of 16 points, press confirm and you're done. You are ready to print. The Y-axis now uses two shafts with linear bearings, which makes it much more stable and more suitable for fast printing. A flexible magnetic bed. Dual Z axis synced by belt. The tension of the belts of the Y and X axis is fully adjustable. The X axis motor is mounted inside the Z gantry, which makes the printer more compact. The extruder assembly is direct drive. It is the Sprite extruder, which makes it useful for printing with PLA. PETG and TPU filament. I was amazed by the speed with which this printer prints. It can print up to 250 millimeters per second, which is quite fast, but at the cost of losing a little of the print quality. But not by much, it still makes perfectly usable prints And here you can see two different prints printed at different speeds, with Creality Ender 3 and Creality Ender 3 V3 SE. But after reducing the speed to 50 millimeters per second, the print quality is almost perfect. Even at this speed, the printing time compared to Ender 3 is lower, 124 minutes, which makes it faster but it is probably related to the profile in the slicer. The only negative things I found about this printer are the base, which I wish was open frame because this box resonates like a guitar at higher speeds and makes a considerably louder noise. For the Z-axis gantry, I would have liked it to have a more solid base because it causes vibrations at higher speeds. And for the lead screws nuts Creality, could have used bronze nuts instead of plastic. But all in all, this is a very good printer, especially value for money, which makes it the perfect printer for beginners. If you enjoy this review, 
please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And don't forget to use the link and the coupon code in the description if you want to buy this printer.